Welcome to Cozy Studio, where you get to meet bands and artists of all different genres, and you get to listen to live recordings of their songs. I'm Ryan Alexa, your host. Today we're going to take a little field trip just south of Music City in Columbia, Tennessee to Puckett's to meet Tyler Haney. Tyler, thank you so much for, for meeting us today. Yeah, I'm absolutely. super excited to be able to see your show tonight and learn more about you. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited to play. Yeah, awesome. Well, to start off, I just want to learn a little bit more about like mm -hmm. how, how did you get your start in music? How, what got you motivated in that? I ended up um, doing band in, in high school and everything like that and then uh, played several different instruments and um, hint, hint, just keep that in mind. Um, and then uh, when I went to college, I ended up paying my way through college uh, by like leading worship at like three different churches and playing saxophone and all sorts of stuff like that. So it kind of was just always a part of what I did um, growing up. And then... So how many, how many instruments do you play? We'll get to that. Okay, all right. All right. We'll get to that. <laughs> that yeah, don't, don't jump the gun, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll... <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... Uh, I kind of just always did that, and then when I got out of college and I went back home and started working a little bit, I was like, the same for me. So I moved and, and did a couple things and, and uh, started playing gigs about six years ago, and it just, the rest was history. Okay. Been and doing it ever since. And that's when you moved to the Nashville area? Or? No, I've only been in Nashville for about seven months now. Oh, okay. Which is really cool. So I did a lot of gigging down in Florida and um, some in Georgia and stuff like that, but um, most of my stuff down there was just bar gigs and a couple of... Uh, Opening for a couple of national acts, which was kind of cool, and I had the, I was blessed to get the opportunity to do that kind of stuff. But it was really just playing four or five days a week to people that didn't really care if you were there or not. It was just kind of cutting your teeth and making the uh, paying your dues down there type of thing. So I had to do what you got to do. And so I, it's been a lot of work to get to where you are. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And I'm nowhere near where I want to be, but definitely not where I started. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the adventure, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> For sure. And are there any musical artists that you really look up to or that some of your songs are even There's um, by? Vocally, I find a, Chris Young, like a lot of Chris Young stuff fits my voice. And um, his uh, vocal technique and his abilities and his runs and everything like that, that's what I kind of try to do. Um, I've definitely got my own style and everything like that, but his is kind of just that effortless type of flow, especially lyrically sure. too. Like lyrically, he's got just some content that you don't find in country music anymore. Actually, it's funny you say that. That's something that I noticed just from listening to a couple of your songs is that it is a little bit different. You hear, you, you tell a lot of stories. Yeah, and yeah. So. No, it's all about something. I mean, it's not just uh, writing some random song that's just full of, you know, cannon fodder that doesn't have anything to do with anything type of thing. So, yeah. but that's what music's about. You gotta say something with it. If right. not, what are you doing it for type thing, so. Yeah. I, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And okay, so one song comes to mind in particular yeah. is Dust Cloud. Yeah. What, so so obviously that's a story. Yeah, what, absolutely. Can you tell us a little about what, what that sure. what okay. back to? When I started writing that song, um, I actually wrote it without anything in mind in particular story-wise, but I had this vision for a music video and I had no idea what was coming out of it, but I had the video in my mind, so I kind of wrote it to the video and how I wanted the video to play out. But then, as I sang it more and more, things started happening and, you know, relationships ending and all this other stuff like that, whatever. And it just kind of became this uh, anthem for people back home when they heard me sing it, that it was a thing where you can just, like, drop it and just, you know, leave it behind you. And as a kid growing up in high school and everything like that, we always went to the forest and went out trail riding and everything like that. And it was almost perfect imagery to say, like, you're just leaving all your problems behind you. Just leave that dust cloud behind you. So it's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, that's super awesome. Yeah. yeah. I like that a lot. There comes a time when you gotta get a move on. Now I go for the dust, wake up to a new dawn. Pick up on the left to your pride. Hang on for a wild ride. It's been dark for too long. Looking on a memory in my review bill Truck slowed it down, getting out of town My best friends in a 
writing uh, I got a lot of writing to do I've got okay. some um, my biggest thing right now is uh, me and some people who have graciously invested in, in my future um, we're gonna be cutting an EP soon getting some songs ready to, to, to cut an EP and get a get a little mini album out so that'll be kind of cool exciting for that is the songs um, you've already written some of them uh, I'm, I'm writing still some more to get some some uh, some songs in there that uh, I need to fill a couple slots on there so but uh, I got that. I've got some shows coming up. Uh, actually, um, it's kind of cool we're meeting tonight because tomorrow night I'm opening for a national act down in Ocala, Florida, which is kind of cool. Demon Jones, he does a lot of that uh, country rap stuff that a lot of people like now. It's growing. That's it's cool. growing. Uh, it's coming up in the in the industry, so it's kind of cool. It's and, still um, fresh, though. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, it's a new thing for sure. Um, Colt Ford was the original one to do it kind of thing. And then yeah. you got people like The Lax and Demon Jones, who I'm playing with tomorrow night. And, and all that stuff like that, and it's kind of cool to see that stuff come up and, and grow into its own kind of entity. Yeah, has so. that been tricky to like get used to that kind of writing or, or playing with? It's know, interesting. You got to cater to a different crowd. You really okay. do. It's um, you got to go from your bar gigs where everybody wants to hear something they can just tap their foot to, to kind of knowing what these people want to hear and and catering it specifically to this crowd that you think that that person's going to draw. And yeah. it's, it's, it's tricky. It huh. can be tricky. But right, because you got a whole different listener. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's a whole different crowd. And, and the whole the phrase, cater to the masses and everything like that, you got to be careful because sometimes those masses will uh, turn around on you if they don't like what you hear at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you got to be careful. But it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. It's fun. Sweet. It's cool. And that's... That's not a short way from here. You got you got to be able to drive out of here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm playing a gig tonight, getting in my over. car and driving ten hours south just to play that tomorrow night. Dude, that's devotion. That's you know? dedication, but man. I mean, that's what it takes. You got to do yeah. what you got to do. That's it. Exactly. Awesome. It's really cool, but it's fun. What else would you ask for? That's a good point. That's so it. you love what you do. Absolutely. I Absolutely. Yeah. I wouldn't be here otherwise. Yeah. That's so. Right. Yeah. Well, and I'm excited to, to be able to hear it live Absolutely. tonight, and I'm sure that our listeners are as well. So. I hope so. <laughs> I'll have to try to get them engaged. Yeah, yeah. It looks like an interesting crowd. Well, <laughs> I'm starting to read them a little bit already. Are you? Do, yeah. do you like look for different things? I show up early for that specifically. Oh, all yeah. right. There you go. Yeah. You kind of see who's here for the thing and what they're. Hell, even if they're just dressed with boots and stuff like that, you got to know that what they're showing up in all and right. what they kind of. What they lifestyle might be into. is, yeah. And if they came here knowing that they were going to see the show or not, you need some to like draw of them, them in. Some of them, maybe. Yeah. Okay. You know, every now and then you'll have a person come up to you and be like, "Hey, you're playing tonight." <laughs> yeah, I am. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's news to me. <laughs> no, but <laughs> you're like, yeah, no, it's 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 cool when people okay. see that and people hear that. So, Sweet. yeah. Well, hey, are you are you up for playing a little game? Yes. Two lies. 
and the truth. Okay, yes. so we've got two lives in a story. That's right, exactly, story. yeah. And I guess actually the pressure's kind of on me because these are stories about Kinda. your life yeah. and I gotta figure out which one is true. Which one's true, exactly, one's yeah. Alive. You can even read them because it doesn't matter, but. Okay. All right, so first, <laughs> set of, first set of three. Okay. Number one, I was the smallest linebacker in the state of Florida. Number two, the Navy wouldn't let me join them. And number three, I graduated with a 4.8 GPA. Which one's true? This is the hardest one. The other ones oh, are a little oh, easier. Okay, okay. This is the hardest one. The pressure's on. Yeah. I'm gonna go with. I gotta guess it's true. Number one is true. Number one is not true. No. no. <laughs> Number one is not true. I did play football, but I did not play linebacker. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, the Navy. The Navy one was true. I tried oh, okay. to join the Navy as soon as I got out of high school, and then they found out that I have a blood disorder and. Really? It's not like terminal or anything like okay, that. Okay, that's good. Yeah, no, it's not. It's none <laughs> of that. Nervous, um, yeah. mm -hmm. I had my like I had my spleen removed when I was twelve and all sorts of stuff like that. It was just crazy when I was little. Oh wow! But they wouldn't let me join because of that. Huh? I was okay. like, what the crap? Shoot! Yeah, so that I was, know. That was like your whole life plan. For I a wanted while, to go to the navy. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to go to the navy. Shoot. I was training. I was in what's called Civil Air Patrol at really? our local. Oh, so you got yeah. into it. I got into it. I tried. Wow. I tried. But okay. all of, in the end, they wouldn't do it. But hey, it's but hey, exactly. It led me here. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. God had bigger plans. Yeah, yeah. So it's good. I'm not complaining. All right, number two. Number two. Uh, my favorite gig ever was at House of Blues Orlando. Okay. Favorite number, gig ever? My favorite gig ever. Okay. House of Blues Orlando. I've been skydiving 15 times. Okay. And I inherited $8.4 million from my grand aunt that was twice removed. That's very specific. You know, you look for specific things like that. <laughs> But I'm still gonna go with number one. That's right, okay. number one. Yeah, for yes. sure. Okay, okay. For sure. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I played. So. I played House of Blues in Orlando. It was super cool. Um, we did a thing um, with a buddy of mine, Patrick Gibson, who did a uh, uh, Orlando uh, rocks. Or Orlando goes gold. Okay, um, yeah. And what we did is it was for the gold ribbons for children's cancer and stuff like that. His uh, father had passed away from cancer, so we put on this huge benefit show where we sold tickets and everything like that, and half of everything. Um, went to uh, a foundation for children's cancer. So it was super wow. cool. We did that. Um, yeah. I played there and I debuted Dust Cloud actually with my full band How uh, in that? front yeah. of everybody. It was super wow. cool. And um, it was it was just really cool to be a part of something like that. Yeah. So having the opportunity to raise a little bit of money and, and do that for for some kids that, that, that probably need that and stuff like that. Uh, it was it was really cool. That's really a neat cool. way to use your gift, just and yeah, no, gift, it was great. Know? And he yeah. organized it all and put everything together. And I shared a set with one of my buddies, Harrison, and it was just it was super cool. It was a great night, awesome. great night. Yeah. That's so, neat. all right, what's number? Three? Last ones. Last all right, last I'm ones. Just getting nervous. No, you don't have to. This <laughs> one's pretty. This one's pretty easy, especially since something we mentioned earlier. So I have twelve right. kids. Number one, I have twelve kids. Okay. Number two, I play seven different instruments. Okay. Number three, I used to hold the longest beard record in Florida. That would be super cool. <laughs> it would be cool. <laughs> but. But I just, I'm using just a little bit of context clues mm -hmm. from our conversation. And because of that, I'm going to go with the seven instruments. Smart here. guy. Right. Smart well, guy. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> okay, so I started, my first instrument was saxophone. So I played saxophone. So I, I play a little sax too. So yep. Yeah, so with that, um, I, I pretty much fingerings and everything are the same flute. Um, okay. Clarinet's okay. a little bit harder, but clarinet, um, French horn, mellophone, Talk guitar, and piano. Instruments. Shoot. Yeah. That's a lot of yeah. So do you, do you still play all of them? Um, do you I, have them at home? I don't. I okay, don't. Okay. I was that stupid college kid that sold a saxophone for like food yeah, money or like whatever in yeah. college. <laughs> Yeah. I, I think we all understand those times. Yeah, yeah exactly. Times, yeah. Exactly. So, um, but that was after I did uh, all those churches and stuff that I was playing saxophone at. But yeah, so I started with sax, um, and then it's, we did marching band and stuff like that in high school. So okay, I switched yeah. to mellophone, which is like a marching French horn. Um, and then in concert season, I'd switch back to French horn and learn that. And I taught myself piano in college. Um, and once I learned chord structures and stuff like that, I taught myself guitar and all that stuff like that. So it just kind of evolved and went into wow. something where I couldn't accompany myself and sing along with it to something that I actually could. So Yeah, yeah. right. Especially with technology today, you could do all those instruments. Right, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. They got horn horn sections in a bunch of stuff now. That's true. That's right. That's true. Jake Owen, he's got the hell yeah horns. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I'm excited to hear you play tonight. I know we probably don't have tons more time, but thanks so much for being able to chat for a little bit. Absolutely. And, uh, we'll see the show. So. Cool. All right, cool. Well, thanks, thanks, man. Yeah. This is the first song that I actually wrote by myself. And this is one that I wrote in Nashville about maybe two or three months ago. And this is called Call My Bluff. This is kind of challenging somebody to, you don't think I'm going to ignore you when you were the one that broke up with me type thing? Well, go ahead, Call My Bluff. Y'all enjoy. Same seat, same bar, same story about a broken heart. Your drink, our song Yeah, this looks bad, but you got it all wrong You're probably telling all your friends That I'm still all in But if my life depended on it I'd spend my ass on dream You don't think I'm over you yet And if you think I'm not Trying to hit me up, call my blood. Red dress, black shoes, extra shadow that Chanel perfume. My luck, odds are. Telling all your friends that I'm still all in. But if my life depended on it, I'd bend my ass on dread. You don't think I'm over you yet. And if you think I'm lying, and I want it to cry when you try. Thanks so much for watching, all the way to the end. I hope that you liked it. If you did, there's a button just for that. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can hit the subscribe button too. Thanks again, and hopefully we'll see you next time.